Hi, I'm Leonard Malton, and this is a Malton Minute, seen only here on DirecTV Cinema. Gran Torino is a perfect example of a movie that bucks the odds. That's one of the things I love about it. If someone asked you if a film about a bigoted old man and his young Asian-American neighbors had the makings of a hit, would you say yes? And would you predict that audiences would turn out for a film with a 78-year-old actor in the leading role and no other stars in the cast? But when that actor is Clint Eastwood, and he takes on a role that resonates with moviegoers because it reminds us of the take charge guys he's played in the past, including that famous maverick cop, Dirty Harry. People do pay attention, and Gran Torino became the box office hit it deserved to be. Eastwood also directed the film, but some people have labeled it his swan song as an actor. I asked the man himself, and he said no. He isn't optimistic that there will be other good leading parts for someone his age, but that's what he said after Million Dollar Baby, and then this plum roll came along. So, pay attention, screenwriters, and create another vehicle as good as this one so we can enjoy Clint Eastwood in front of the camera again. Do you have a problem with me, Mr. Kowalski? You don't want to know. No, I do. Well, I think you're an overeducated 27-year-old version who likes to hold the hands of old ladies who are superstitious and promises them eternity. I'll be back introducing other movies I like on DirecTV Cinema, channels 125 through 199. And you can see all my Malton Minutes at directtv.com.